Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to another classroom setup vlog. <laughs> if you guys are just coming in, my name is Charlotte and I'm a fourth grade science and social studies teacher. We are departmentalized and I teach in central Arizona. So today is classroom setup day number three. I'm starting off again at home. Um, just wanted to show you guys what I'm taking to school today. Um, today is Thursday. It's actually um, 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to be going and grabbing myself some breakfast because I've been dreaming about this omelet from this restaurant. So I'm going to go pick it up and then take it to school and eat it. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm taking to school today. So let's head on over there. I feel like every time I face that window, I have to take my glasses off. Sorry, girls, but you are not going to school yet. Um, if you guys are new here, this is Temple Tina, and she is my class pet. And her sister, Peach, will be joining this school year. <laughs> um, these are the rats that I keep talking about. So if you guys are new here or you haven't been with me for a while, um, I do have some pets now. Um, so this is that big cage that's going to be joining me. I'll probably take this with me to school Monday just because they're happier here right now. But starting Monday, I'll be at school every single day except the weekend. So I will be taking them to school with me on Monday. Well, good morning. <gasps> Did it break? Mommy, mommy, I want to get my own camera and I can Okay, you go get yours and you can vlog too. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the cart that's coming with me to school today. Um, these are all of the plants that I brought home for the summer. Mommy, press this. Okay. Press it. Okay, shoot all the plants and tell us what you're doing. We got a future vlogger in the making, no, guys. No, this is me take a picture. Oh, you can videotape too. So anyway, I have one, two, three four, five, and then a sixth plant in here that I had to water last night. Look at, you can tell. So sad. I am going to water all of these guys when I get to school though. Um, I also have the binder that I took home that has my standards in it. And then anything that I printed while I was home is in there. I've got my ink joy pens. And then I have a strip of LED lights that I was thinking about putting somewhere in my tripod. You love Tempatini, huh? Oh, yeah, I'm taking your picture. Take her picture. You're so cute. All right, guys, so I'm going to get my husband awake and then head on over to the Queen Creek Olive Mill, which is where I'm getting my breakfast from, and then I will be heading to work. I did choose three bulletin boards that I think I'm going to go ahead and make, so we'll see if I keep that idea, and, um, and you guys will get to see those in just... A few short minutes. So, if you guys want to see classroom set up day number three, then keep on watching. All right, you guys. So I am here in my classroom, and guess what? We have six tables. I am so excited. My custodian brought me the other two. I just traded that one for one in Sheila's room because it was a different grain. And I wanted them to all match and she didn't care. So we just traded tables. So now I have six tables. I will have six groups of five. And I'm really excited. So I'm still waiting on the stools. Sheila said she'd give me five of them, which puts me at about 21 stools. So I would only need nine more. And that's if we have 30 students. So I think I might stick with the stools and just try to find a few more. So I think I might put an email out today asking if any teachers have any spare stools to donate them to my classroom. They brought me like first grade chairs. <laughs> so I don't know if those are going to work for me. I might have to find my custodian and just tell him, listen, these are fourth graders. I don't think they're gonna be happy sitting in first grade student chairs. So am I being nitpicky? I don't think so. I think that like in a fourth grade room they should have, you know, big people chairs. My janitors work so hard though, so I do appreciate all of their help and all of their work. So I'm not going to whine or complain. Um, okay, so I got my lunch, or sorry, my breakfast. Do you guys want to see it? It's probably cold. Mm. Okay, so this is an omelet and it's made with spinach feta cheese, artichoke, red pepper, tomato, 
and then the potatoes. I'm not gonna eat this. But I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna eat, drink my coffee, and ponder what I'm going to do today and make a to-do list. That's the plan. you guys so I just finished my breakfast I'm gonna keep working on my coffee and my energy drink <laughs> I need to remember to drink water today please remind me so what I'm gonna do right now is just put all my plants away um, and find permanent homes for them <sighs> my teammate just brought me five more stools so I just need eight more stools and then I'm good to go on stools so fingers crossed, I'm gonna send out an email just saying, hey, if you have any extra stools, like any of them would help. Um, and hopefully I can get eight and then I'm set. So all I have left to do is wait for these desks and these chairs to be gone. So, all right, I'm gonna put the plans away. Let's get started. Is it just me? Stay Okay, so John is in here. He's taking these little chairs away and he's bringing me a few more stools. So I think all we're gonna need now is four more stools. So I'm really excited. It looks like the stools are gonna work out. Yay. So I have this little LED light strip that I bought for my office at home and it just doesn't really work in there. So I thought I would hang it right here around this bulletin board. I think it will be long enough. It just looks like this. It's just LED lights. And I have these little light clips. So I think I might do this and they'll probably stay on the wall because the back of this, I've tried hot glue, I've tried command strips, and nothing will like stay stuck to this. So I figure if I use these little guys, I can just clip it onto the wall. So we're gonna see if that works. Okay, you guys, so I have tables. They all match. The desk mountain is gone. And all I'm waiting on are four stools. So if we end up having 25 to 26, I'm golden. If we have 30, all I need is four more stools. I can always just pull chairs in. It wouldn't kill me to have four chairs in the room. But, ah! So now that I have furniture, I'm officially going to set up a layout. So, two things, two ideas that I have. Put you down so I can concentrate. Okay, so my two ideas are 
have the desks set up sort of like they are now. Obviously, I'm gonna bring them this way and spread them out more and have um, them scooted up because I would like to have a space in the back for community circle time or like if I wanna do a floor activity or if I want the kids to work on the floor, I want there to be plenty of space. So I can either do it that way or I can sort of make it in a horseshoe fashion, which is where I would have two desks on this, or two tables on this side going this way, two going that way in the back, and two that way. That way I have the whole open space in the middle to do floor activities. I don't know, I just feel like utilizing the library space for like community stuff is better. I don't know. I'm gonna try and space them out first and see how I like it. Okay, so I pulled all the tables to where they would probably go and so here's the view from the front. They're not all in line, so just bear with me for that. There's a ton of walking space over here, which is great. My computer cart's probably gonna go right here. I don't know where that table's gonna go yet, so hang tight for there, for that. I might move it or remove it. Hello. Okay, so this is the view from the back. There's plenty of space between the tables which is lovely. So you can kind of see there. Now, if we end up getting less than 30 students, if we have 24, if we have 24, then I can turn the tables this direction and have them all facing the front and have one on each end and two in the middle. But I sort of love this, so so there will be a kid here, and then two on each side. Kid here, two on each side. So there won't be two kids like back to back in that space. It'll just be the one on the end. So hopefully it works out. And I still probably could work on the spacing more, but this is pretty close to what it's gonna be like. And then this, um, I might have to move these ones up a little cause this one's always like crowded. But, I mean, it's got a, there's a pretty good amount of space here that won't be there. So, there's a pretty good amount of space here for that kid to back up and for people to still walk around. So, I might push these ones up further. We'll see. The other option is to push all the tables together to make, like, long rows. But I just feel like it would be easier to, like... Say, okay, table one, table two, table three, table four, table five, table six, rather than like row one, row two, row three. So yeah, it's looking really good. Um, what I think I'm gonna do now is clean out my teacher cart because that definitely needs to be done. And that way I can start stocking it up for this school year. So I think I'm gonna just roll it back here and sit down and start kind of sorting through it and throw some stuff away. I am going to keep my notebook from last year just so that I can reference like what things we put in it, but I will make a new one. And then after that, I think I'm going to start working on stuff for walls. All right, the cart has been cleaned and organized. So what I usually do on the top of this thing is keep all the things that I would need for teaching. So I always keep my personal notebooks in here and then uh, glue sponge, or sorry, I will have my own glue sponge, but I keep spare glue sticks in here, headphones, um, and then I'll always keep like a sharpened pencil up front in case there's like an emergency. And then lotion for myself. I will put a brand new box of crayons in here in a few days when I get those out. And then in here I have my skin color crayons. I don't give these out to kids. If they personally ask for them, then I will let them come up and grab one if they need it. But it's very rare that we need those except for social studies. And then I keep my spotted, so like 
our PBAS tickets in here. I have my mouse pad for when I'm up there with my mouse. And then on the side, I keep dry erase markers on the cart. The kids don't really ever need dry erase markers, so it's fine for them to be on my cart. And then down here, I just keep, um, so I have stamps. I use these for checking work and checking notebooks so and taking assessments so like if i walk around and i notice a kid has written the correct answer or uh, you know have done it right or are understanding um, i give them a stamp and then if i don't stamp a kid then that means that i need to see them or like once you get your stamp you're done you can move on so stuff like that highlighters for me markers for me these are like Marker pens, I love these for note taking. The kids can see way better if I use marker pen than if I use pencil. And then these are just permanent markers for labeling things. So I have one per table group and I keep them here. I pass them out, they bring them back when they're done. Then I have some Clorox wipes and then at the bottom is where I keep some engagement tools. I don't have a bunch of them out right now or brain breaks. So I have these brain break cubes they're just little exercise cubes i have bubbles i will probably keep my little emoji partner cards in here as well as some other like grouping structured stuff in here so i can just pull i need to wipe it i realize it's still like dirty from our erosion unit but and then i do keep my lightsabers here i have one for students the green one so when students come up to the board and then I have one red one for me. So again, students can come up to the board and those are my pointers. I just found these magnets here on the side. So anyway, I'm gonna take this up to the front now that it is ready to go. So I will create new notebooks like I mentioned before and I'll probably keep these in the back of the room like at my desk for reference and then put the new ones in here. But my students always know if they need to copy a notebook page they can come up to my cart and grab my notebook and they can copy from there. So anyway, the cart is ready to go. So I'm gonna move that up front. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Probably work on bulletin board stuff. Okay, quick update. The room is pretty much done aside from like getting rid of the junk. This table is gonna be gone. I think I might give it to Maria, my old teammate, or I might put it next door in Rob's room, see if he wants it. And this is what it's looking like. I took all this stuff off of this. Now keep in mind, this will have a black tablecloth over the top of it. So none of that will be seen. All of this will be on a black tablecloth. I'll probably move these two black tubs and put them somewhere else to store things in. But I got all the stuff that goes on each table group put on the table. Uh, the cart's ready to go. I need to hang up my look what we're learning thing here and I might actually section off the whiteboard. Maybe. Uh, we'll see. I only have one learning target per day so it doesn't take up a lot of room. So as you can see things are coming together. Um, what else did I do? I don't know if I showed you this. So Sheila gave me this cute little news board. I think it's adorable. I'm gonna probably hang the lunch menu here and then possibly the district calendar so that we can tell when we're here or not. <laughs> and then I just rearranged that a little bit. What else did I do? Um, I think that's pretty much it. So essentially all that's left to do is boards and then planning okay I wanted to show you guys my bulletin board ideas so I found them on Pinterest yesterday but I was thinking about this one on the top going on this board right here and it's just a frizzle quote and it says take chances make mistakes get messy and it looks like this it would be super easy to do all I need to do is cut out letters and then do the little beakers and stuff and I also want to do a big paper sized version of all of the supplies my kids will need throughout the day so like a giant pair of scissors glue sponge all that stuff and have them up on the whiteboard so that every day when they come in I can just slide over the supplies that they're gonna need for the day and they'll already know what to take out so I'm gonna do that board I think 
I really like this one too. Science is like magic, but real. So it's between get messy, make mistakes, whatever, or science is like magic. I think I might do science is like magic, but real on this board. And then out in the hallway, I think I'm going to do this one. I'm trying to zoom in on it. Ooh, I think I'm gonna do this. Welcome back have a magical year with the magic school bus because I have a board out in the hallway that I need to decorate so I might do that um, that one will be student work so I don't need to do that one and then I do have to do something over there I might do like the scientific method and make that like a content board and I start with the scientific method even though it's not really a standard it is a standard practice that needs to be done so I might put science content there and then for now since I'm not gonna have vocab for a while I'm gonna put vocabulary or my classroom rules up there up front and then I'll eventually take them down so I think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna sit down and work on I'm gonna do this one first science is like magic but real so the way that I do this is I use PowerPoint on the computer I just type out the whole thing one letter per page and then I will print them out on colored paper, colored cardstock. I probably won't laminate these just because it's one extra step and I really doubt that I'm gonna take it down. Like, let's be honest. Um, so I think I'm gonna start with that one and then after that I will go for the Magic School Bus board. So I think at this point, um, I will pause and then once I get everything cut out and made, I will update you guys on the board. Hey guys, so quick update. It is about 2.45 and I'm probably gonna leave today around 3.30. Um, I wanna do one or two more things before I go. I wanna find my classroom rules and put them up front because I do still have those from last year. And then I remembered I have an engineering process thing that I wanna find and possibly put somewhere. Um, but I went ahead and printed a bunch of stuff I've got some bulletin board things here printed. So I do have my Cricut, but I don't have my actual computer here that has the Cricut thing on it. And I realized I could download that to my work computer, but honestly, I can give my husband a pair of scissors and he can help me cut them out over the weekend and that will be fine. So I have two bulletin boards worth of words printed out and that is pretty much all I needed because I have the rules already done just that board and just that board and then I do need to print some stuff at home in color so I'm gonna print a few things at home in color I need to make a to-do list so I'm gonna do that right now while we're talking because that just makes sense okay to do print date supply pictures and I need to do the name um cut all ouch okay and then um print click marker words because I was being hard to-do list done. So now I'm gonna look for my classroom rules and hang those up. Oh. John, if you're in the building, can you please call 7610, please John, 7610. Hello, my friends. So I am now at home in my office. I'm editing this vlog and I did not finish it out yesterday. Sorry, I have this terrible lighting in here right now. But I just wanted to thank you guys if you made it all the way to the end of the video. Congratulations, you stuck it out. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching and for joining me on this classroom setup journey. There will be another couple more videos in the series. I am going back to school Monday, Tuesday, and then I do have um, like meetings and stuff Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then that whole next week. So we will probably transition from classroom setup vlogs to plans for what we're going to do the first and second week of school and then we'll get into regular normal teacher vlogs so thank you guys again so so much for watching i really appreciate you being here and for your support if you're not already make sure to follow me on instagram at apples and tiaras to see more daily updates and just to keep up with me and i will see you guys in the next video